Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do something a bit different and a bit colourful. I just done like a warm orangey brown smoky eye with a wing and massive lashes. Like these lashes are my favourites right now. They are the unicorn lashes in the shade. In the shade. <laughs> Let me show you. I'm packaging like this, which is so cool. And they come in like a little plastic case. So it's really good for travel because they're not going to get messed up or anything because it's such heavy duty packaging so that is the thing that is the style rebel smoke and i love them they're massive and they're like wispy and spiky and i love them so much i wanted to do something that's like wearable which you can just jazz it up with this inner corner i did add some glitter because i can't stop myself but you don't have to do the glitter you can just do the color or you don't have to do anything at all you can just watch i also used um the ofra liquid lipstick for the first time in the shade Sal. Paolo. I put the um, Kylie gloss over it because it is quite pinky so I wanted to do a little bit more peachy nude so um, yeah it's the first time I've actually tried those lipsticks you can get them on Beauty Bay now I'll put a link to them down below they are really good and they smell amazing like if you like the smell of the Kylie stuff like you'll probably like that even more because it's just so sweet yeah if you want to see how to get this look then just keep watching so I'm going to go in with a few different transition shades for this look. The first one's Peach Smoothie for Makeup Geek and I'm going to be using the same Sigma E40 for all of them. I just like to go through with loads of different colours to build them up when I'm doing a smoky eye. So this one is Chickadee. I've used it a few times. It makes my eyes really stand out and it just sort of helps with blend in warm colours. Next I'm going to go in with Morocco and these are all Makeup Geek shadows. This is an orangey colour and I'm just sort of layering them on top of each other just to help blend out the warmer browns later on. It makes your job a lot easier. So next I'm going to take Sidekick on and Morphe M441 and I'm putting that like all over the eyelid and in the crease and sort of blown out on that outer corner. I am planning on doing a video on how I like to shape my smoky eyes so that will be coming up. But um, I'm just taking a more precise 217 and I'm just sort of making that shape and really winging it out and then just going over everything, blending that out with the 441 with no product on it. And then I'm just doing the exact same under eyes and just taking that um, sidekick shade and blowing it out underneath because I wanted this to be like an all over really blown out smoky eye. And then this is Cabin Fever also from Makeup Geek. It's just another warm brown but I'm taking that on a Zoeva 224. And that's obviously like a lot of a darker colour and I'm just using that to define my eyes and it really made the smoky eye pop and stand out more. So then I'm going in with tattoo liner. And this is like the first time I think I've been able to do a wing on camera but I just did like a wing, do that however you want to do, however you find easiest. And then I went in with the Tarte Silk uh, Crayon Liner I think it's called. And I just put that in my waterline just to sort of hide any skin so that when I put my lashes on later it's not going to look terrible having skin showing through. And next for the pop of colour, I'm using this Ellie Girl Glide Gel Liner and I put it on my eye first and then started to blend it out with a smudger brush. But I found that actually taking the smudger brush and blending it on with a pencil was easier because these pencils are really soft and they're easy to smudge out. So yeah, just doing it like that was a lot easier than drawing it on and trying to blend it out. But then I just took, I think it's called Isla or something from the um, Anastasia palette and I'm just blending that over to make it more of a greeny colour. And I just used a fluffy brush as well to just go over that and blend it out. That's such a weird shot. <laughs> and then I'm going in with Unicorn Lashes and Rebel Smoke Light. So I know this is a little bit extra, but I'm going to go over those little bits underneath with the Heavy Metal Glitter from Urban Decay in the colour Distortion. And I know I'm like voicing over the rest of this and just putting in this bit, but it's because it's, I'm doing it last, so I wanted to just... I'm only going to put like wee bits. And then for lips I just went in with the Lip Cheat from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Iconic Nude. It's just like, like the name says, it's a nude. It's just like an, a cool tone nude though so it helps with overlining your lips I think. And then I went in with the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Sao Paulo, I think is how you say it. And it's just like a peachy pinky nude. It's just like any standard nude shade that you have or a lipstick will work and then I went over it with the Kylie gloss and so cute just to make it a little bit paler and more peachy because it was a bit too pink to go with the orange and the smoky eye and then I tapped it in with my finger and that was the look finished well thank you so much for watching this look I wanted to do something different obviously if you wanted to just copy the um like sort of warm smoky eye uh, similar to every other one that I've done on my channel but I just wanted to make it stand out a bit more with this pop of 
bluey green on the inner corner. I just wanted to try something different. I've been wanting to try this look for so long and I'm so happy with the way it came out. I love it. I think it looks so cool. It's such an interesting way to add colour into your makeup because it's hard to just Sometimes if you're if you're not too bold, you don't want to do like a full on blue smoky eye. Do you know what I mean? So it's nice to add colour to your eye looks. Like this look, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I'd really appreciate it. And leave a comment down below. Let me know any other requests for videos that you have. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.